anti-fascist, then you're just a plain old fascist. If you're anti-anti-fascist, then you're just a plain old fascist. If you stand against racial justice, not a patriot, you're a fucking racist. You're mad about the protests, you're just mad at inconvenience. Open your eyes. Time to empathize. Recognize the lies of your selfish existence. Turn off the propaganda machine. If you're anti anti fascist, then you're just a plain old fascist. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure as usual. Um, I'm gonna just kind of fucking kick it here for a minute, and... Oh, man, I swore in the first 30 seconds. Damn. Fuck. Damn it. Alright, well, it's... it's I, I done did it now. It's it's over. Anyway, <laughs> uh, if you want to send me a super chat before my super chats get turned off, that'd be great. Because uh, last time I did this, uh, I was not able to receive donations because of my subversive behavior. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of cool folks in here. Hey, thanks. Oh, Wonderland Healing Camp is in. What is up, Dreamcatcher? Hell yeah, conspiracy theorist. We got Joe Mackey. We got fucking Oh man. We got 80 bits in here and also over there. <laughs> Uh, we got Will Davidson up in here, being a rock star as usual. Fuck, there's a lot of comments coming in. Hey, welcome to everybody that I missed. I'm sorry if I missed you. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Alright, well, okay, so... I'm, uh, I'm gonna pop open this beer here. Mac D from Telehack, very cool. Fuck yeah. Chris Cat says, you need to put a large piece of paper in front of you that says, do not curse. That way you're looking at it, staring at it all the time. Yeah, that might be something that I need to do because, shit, I, I'm not used to watching my language. I don't, I mean, I grew up like that. I don't like it. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I got a few announcements. One is that uh, I found out last night that... California is going back on lockdown. There's a lot of uh, fresh COVID cases. Obviously, there's a huge spike in COVID activity. And the thing about that is um, I live in a very remote rural area. And there's only so so much room for uh, people in the ICU. And they're projected to be filling up in the next few days. So I can't, in good conscience... Keep the library open. Um, I'm not doing it because anybody fucking told me to, but I morally, I feel like this is the right thing to do. Oh, hey, we got our first super chat. 80 bit. Thanks, 80 bit. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Appreciate you. Um, and I, you know, just spent a good minute thinking, thinking real hard about it. And yeah, I got to do what I got to do. So what we're going to do now is we got to adapt and we got to overcome and we got to fucking survive and you know so uh what what I'm planning on doing now is like what I did earlier in the summer when I was closed down for a long time and changing up my game changing my spange as it were and focusing instead on delivering f uh food and medical supplies to the people of my community uh in instead of serving drinks and getting people to read books which you know people will still be able to get books i i will still be providing essential materials for the people of this community and if you would like to help i would actually uh oh thanks rosie thanks for the donation you're awesome fuck yeah and Feral Oracle. Fuck yeah, you guys are rocking it. Um, so that helps. That's one thing that helps. Because I'm not going to be able to make money hustling uh, Schwill at my bar anymore. So um, it's going to be tight. We're on conservation mode right now. And what we want, I've got a link. Or I've got my address in the description down below. 
And if you want to take a look uh, and, and write it down, we want non-perishable foods and medical supplies of all types. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, like, um, like dried goods, jerky, dehydrated vegetables, uh, dehydrated fruits, even vitamins and supplements, protein shakes, protein bars, um, stuff that keeps for a long time because it fresh food goes bad pretty quick out here and not everybody has the amenities to keep it. So if you want to help out one of the poorest communities in the U.S., I implore you to consider sending out a box of supplies. Oh, thanks, conspiracy theorists. Appreciate you. Um, and, okay, this this might be a little shysty, but it, when you send books, they're really heavy, and you put them in the box, and if you were just weighing it, like, it's going to cost a fortune to send. But if you put a bunch of, uh, I don't know, say canned soup in a box and label it, tell them that it's media mail, say it's books, then it's a lot cheaper. So you could kind of fudge the system there. Like, it, it's all the same to them. You're not hurting anybody. But um, you might consider doing some crime <laughs> in, in the interest of helping to feed people that you know, that need it. There's a lot of people in this community that are struggling and in the surrounding communities. And I can't just sit on my ass and lock down without continuing to do something. And actually, yeah, we had, we had some pretty good conversations last night. Wow. Thanks, Rich Screnta. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Rosie asks, I was planning to send you a Krampus package. Would you rather me send dry goods to the cause? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. We're going to be, you know, like, we're going to focus on distributing supplies. It's it's awesome. I did a little bit of that during the summer with an organization that came out here, and, but a lot of the stuff they brought out was um, fresh goods, like vegetables and fruits, and it's the middle of the summer. It's like 120 degrees, right? So a lot of that went bad before I could distribute it. And I'm sure a lot of it went bad at people's houses before they could consume it all. And that's really unfortunate. So I want like, yeah, like, you know, shit like granola trail mix and, uh, maybe like even flour of different types, like gluten-free and regular flour people can cook with pasta keeps well. Um, yeah, like I said, jerky is a good one, and um, supplements, shakes, stuff like that. Ramen is fine, yeah, ramen ships easy, and yeah, we're gonna, we're just, we're gonna do our damnedest here. So, just like all of you should be, actually, um, sometimes life throws fucking curveballs at you, and, you know... <laughs> I know everybody's fucking sick about hearing about COVID, but COVID's not fucking sick of you, <laughs> right? Oh, thanks, KLB19811. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. You guys are great. Isn't it better to send cash and have... Uh, actually, Konami, it is very handy to send cash um, to that same obvious, obviously address. If you want to send cash or a post office check is a little bit more secure, uh, ask, ask them about post office checks at the post office if you're not familiar with what that is. But yeah, we can absolutely use monetary support right now. I've got um, a relatively decent sized crew and I mean, we're doing fine, but like I said, we want to continue to give to the community. Feral Oracle says, sent PayPal to take care out there. Fuck yeah, thanks, Feral Oracle. You're you're a great supporter. Wow, you guys are fucking sick. Wow, what a bunch of cool-ass motherfuckers. All right, I'm going to slow my roll here and drink a little bit of beer and mm, collect myself. Because there's, you know, I mean, there's definitely a lot more that we can talk about here, but that kind of... Kind of got the big shit out of the way. What you up to, Matt? Just walking around. Just pacing. Can I hit your smoke, dude? Yeah. Just once or twice? What's up, guys? 
and you probably have met Matt before if you've seen my streams, but they're a good friend of mine. Yeah. Hey. Are you flipping people off? No, I would that... never do that. <laughs> you would never flip anybody never. off? Never. <laughs> Why do you always think the worst of me? Somebody left pizza, somebody left pizza in our, uh, <laughs> where we go to the bathroom. There's a big piece of pizza on the ground, <laughs> and they all blame me immediately. You're the outhouse pizza bandit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we've been fucking partying and having a really great time and running the library in a safe manner with the tables out in the courtyard, mask up, uh, policy. And it's been good, but uh, it's time to it's time to kick it down and focus on working and chores and keeping keeping everything tidy. I've got a bunch of projects that I gotta do that I can focus on while we're closed. And I don't know how long we're gonna be closed for. Like, nobody really knows what the fuck is going on right now. But we're gonna feel it out. Even if it's just for, like, the weekend, then at least I didn't do nothing. But uh, I have a feeling it might last a little longer than that. I mean, last time I was locked down for the summer, I was locked down for, like, fucking five months. So, yeah, it's a thing. You got something to say? Yeah, what do you want to watch for, on movie night tonight? Um, We should watch They Live or some shit. I'm down with They Live. I just actually heard of... I have that on my hard drive. Yeah. Okay. There's one I just heard of that I've never seen. It's a Cronenberg called Existence. And it's like really twisted and fucking scary. Apparently. Well, I don't think I'm going to have time to download anything before. It, that movie sucks, you said? Is that the one with the video game where you're in a world and been in another world? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Apparently, uh, the crew doesn't want to watch that one, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking They Live will be a good one. I'm going to go check the pizza. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, hey, Eddie Bit, you want to do some dabs? Sure. I got a, a guest from, well, obviously, they fucking just posted a super chat, so you guys, you guys probably are familiar with the name, but they came out here just to say hi and share some some stuff. They're working on some crafts over there. Being wholesome. Wholesome as fuck, like all of us. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, thanks, Simply Wicked. Simply Wicked says, I know it's not much. I love... Uh, one love and good vibes. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, and uh, if you guys are interested in keeping in touch uh, besides the live streams, then definitely join the Discord server. It's in the description. There's links there. There's also cool ass T-shirts with Slab City Library logo on it. And also, I kind of I want I want to oh I should have put his link in my description. But uh, my buddy James James is uh, Bottomless Coffin on Instagram, and now he is on Webtoons. And James is the person that made the Slab City Library logo. And his art is absolutely delightful, and I Im encourage you all to go and check that out. I'll I'll post more. Oh, oh I did one on um, on my page in the community section, the c comments. But yeah. Oh, Raquel Canella, the booze fairies. Yeah, thanks so much. I gotta give you a shout out. Um, Raquel and friends came over. Uh, like last week or something, and donated a huge box of booze to the bar. So, yeah, huge shout out. Much love. Thank you so much. Also, if you're sitting in the chat and you're digging my content, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share my work, uh, my videos on your various social medias, and make sure to hit the bell if you want to be notified when I'm going live because it's often irregular and impromptu, so you don't want to miss anything. Not all of my live streams are serious, just the Let Me Level With You series, but um, I do fun shit too, like the last one we were just partying and that was that was cool. But now is not the time to be partying, now is the time to be conserving, locking down, being safe, uh, and working on stuff around the house to stay sane. I gotta, I gotta do something, I gotta do something all the time or else I feel useless and shitty. And I'm sure most of you kind of feel the same. Sometimes it's good to do nothing. You don't always have to be productive. That's a, a social construct. That's a capitalist construct. But, you know, it, it feels good to be 
doing work and making things happen. <laughs> Will Davidson says, 280 watching and only 84 thumbs up. Come on, peeps, show some love. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Show some love. Thumbs. Work those thumbs. Don't put them up your ass. Put them on the, put them on the keypad. We got Repl Replay Goblin donating two bucks. Thanks, dude. Chris Artel says, y'all are doing good stuff. Thank you. Yeah, we are. What's and up, Chris? That's what we'll friend. continue to do good stuff. We're not going to just stop doing stuff. Deborah Langley says, smart move, Corn. Better safe than sorry with this crap. I'm still having issues after recovering from this. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, even if... It, I'm, like I said in, in the past, I'm not afraid of the Rona. I'm not afraid of dying. But, like, I cannot afford for any of my crew to get sick and go to the hospital right now. Like, that's just not... That's not our prerogative here. We gotta stay safe and stay healthy. And it's better to be cautious than not. So... Literary Heights says, love the jacket. Hey, thanks. I know a lot of people are commenting on my jacket. Uh, my buddy Spaceman did the did the 50 cals on my shoulders. Uh, that'll that'll wreck you if I shoulder check you. You want me to come over there? I can come here. Cool. Yeah. It's alright. No, you're good. Chris Cat says, someone I know got it, didn't die, but the aftermath has been brutal on her body. Yeah, it sucks. Like, you know, nobody really understands what the long-term effects of this shit is. I'm going to use my own dab rig here. Uh, oh, you got yours. Yep, I got mine. Oh, you want to say hi? Sure. Hey, folks. <laughs> yeah, this is one of our regulars in the Discord server, and she's fucking rad. And of a long time, really great supporter of my work and what I'm doing here. Thank you. You awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, you sent me a dank ass birthday package. <laughs> I was stoked. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, it really made my day. I yeah, I got a lot of really cool ass birthday presents. What a great community. You guys are all fucking awesome. Thanks for for fucking hanging out. Yeah, thanks for letting me cruise in here. It's cool. Absolutely. Yeah. <coughs> what do you think so far? It's awesome. <coughs> um, <coughs> lots of like-minded people who are just trying to live mm -hmm. and uh, do their own thing. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you want me to fire this up for you? Oh, I love that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's janky. The ignition button does not work. Oh, thanks, Rosie. Fucking, fucking A. This is awesome. Yeah. <coughs> oh, my boy. Yes. Yeah. That'll do. I might, I might do another one. Let's... <laughs> I can't do another one after that, though, or else I'm just going to be, like, rambling here. And, uh, you know, a little rambling is good. Yeah, i got to fill up a lot more time here with a bunch of shit. Um, and I probably have more announcements to make, but that's, that's, the, that's the main thing. You know, we're closing down again. It's not forever, but hopefully not forever. But, you know, we're in, we're in some dark times right now, and that's nobody's fault. Well, actually... Yeah, who knows? I'm not gonna wax poetic on whose fault, whose fault anything is. But obviously, the system that we're accustomed to as people in in society, this society specifically, but uh, you know, the system that we grew up in and always took kind of for granted is failing us and and has failed us. In you know, I mean, I guess nature, nature don't give a shit about your feelings. Yeah. Oh, thanks, girl, Oracle. You're fucking rad. Um, you want to do another one? Yeah, oh, okay. Good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's hella people's fault, says Bethany it Chrysler. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, that's a whole other subject. <laughs>
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Let me know if you want any more. Cool. Thanks. Thank Fuck you. yeah. Yeah, I'll holler at you if I need another another hit. Bike Punky says Matt made COVID-19. <laughs> yep, it's Matt's fault. <laughs> Matt left the, the outhouse pizza and created COVID-19. <laughs> I saw that shit. <laughs> yep, and they're in the kitchen now, hard at work, striking again, making enough pizza to leave on the outhouse floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Bunch of fucking miscreants. Corn, when I go shopping with a couple cases of water help. Uh, Deborah Langley, don't waste your money on water for us. We have our own source. But thanks, thanks. Uh, get that. If you spend the same amount of money on, like, soup for my family, then that would be great. Wasatch Traveler, thanks. Five bucks. Cheers, dude. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Soup for my family. Would it be distracting if this you can okay. smoke in the background as long as you're not trying to chat. Like, oh, I mean, you can say stuff. Yeah, come on, hang out. Oh, I'm at carving. Ch oh, carving? Yeah, I don't give a shit. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, you want to show people what you're working on? Sure. Right now, I just have a few lines in, but I've got a finished one around the neck right now. That's cool shit. Thank you. This is what they're working on right now. And yeah. they gave me a blank too, so I'm gonna work on it. Hopefully I didn't lose it while I was stumbling around wasted last night. Yeah, you'll find it. I got more too if you do. But I like that one. Yeah. It's yeah. probably in, in my pocket. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. Probably. Muzumaki says, just jumped in here now and begging for context. Why are you shutting down the library? Use your brain. Use your noggin. Why, like, what is the one thing that we've all been hearing about since fucking, like, last, beginning of fucking 2020? I mean, come on now. It's not, it's not rocket surgery here, bud. <laughs> bud. OZ says Bikey Punk created death. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys are out of hand here. Uh, Jackie Marsh says, I haven't made a live in ages. Hi from Straya, Australia, Corn. Hey, welcome to the live stream. Glad, glad you caught me. Make sure you hit the bell so that you're notified when I am, I am going live. Because like I said, it's it's a regular... What's that? Oh, I just saw a mouse running across the room. You saw a mouse? You should tell Tom Waits that there's a mouse to eat. Let's see. How are all the different tribes hanging out? Well, I wouldn't call them tribes. I'd call them camps. But, um, like, everybody's kind of got their own uh, way that they're dealing with this. Some people really just don't give a shit and are operating as usual. And some people are on, like, total 100% lockdown. And some people are kind of like me where... I've been <clears throat> open for the past, like, month or two, and, well, a couple months, yeah, I don't know, um, but, like, cautiously and responsibly, and some people are just hanging out within their own pods, and, you know, it's like, we're kind of blazing a trail here, we don't really know how, like, how exactly... To be in, you know, to be the most responsible, because we all have kind of our different levels of understanding of science and viruses and how how germs are transferred, etc. And some people just, <laughs> man, you know, the thing about Slab City is people out here are like uh, kind of intense. Like I've been trying to help at fires and stuff and there's like shit exploding everywhere and I'll be like yo get out of the way you can't you can't be there you're gonna fucking you're gonna get hit with shrapnel and like have some crouchy old man be like I don't give a shit you know they're just like walking around like a lot of people 
people ain't afraid of dying out here, <laughs> but it's it's interesting. Um, yeah, some people just really don't care. But um, like I said, I'm not afraid of my own mortality. What I don't want to do is to put other people in danger without, like, you know, it's consensual. Like, if I'm hanging out with somebody in my own home and we both kind of consent to rolling those dice that we're, we might be exposing each other to stuff, like, that's one thing, but, like, just being dangerous and unrespectful of other people's safety is not okay. We got a couple of super chats. My opinion says Feliz Navidad, Cornelius, stay safe. Fuck yeah, Feliz Navidad. Any Barton says Merry Christmas. We yeah, Christmas, huh? Wow, it's coming up. Wow we. Everybody thinks all this is gonna end in 2020. Like 2020 is gonna go away. And then, like, the new year is just going to be like, okay, we're done now. Everything's cool. <laughs> yeah, don't get your fucking hopes up. Who's to say 2021 isn't going to be fucking shittier? Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. Don't let fear rule you, obviously, but be respectful of science and nature. Don't do that right here. That's very distracting. Go away. Or sit quietly. Stop pacing and hovering. It's weird. Uh, mm -hmm. I can see you in the reflection now and you're like looking at me it's fucking dude <laughs> such a goofball oh my goodness you can sit down and like chill if you want alright mm. yeah you gotta you know it's like I said it's <clears throat> we're kind of in the dark ages here and there's no reason that it ain't gonna get darker so you know buckle in settle into the apocalypse enjoy the ride it's all good i mean really like as long as you're having fun at at the end of the day that's all that fucking matters do something wholesome for yourself do something wholesome for your community and that'll get you through that'll carry you through this <clears throat> and like i said there's nothing to be afraid of we're all gonna be dirt in the ground anyway Thanks, Raquel Canella. Appreciate you. Drew G gave me five bucks and says, take a dab. Well, I mean, thanks for the five bucks, and I'll take a dab when I damn well please. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's see. I got a song for you. Maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of not feeling my music lately. I need to write something new. Mm. Uh, I might botch this one really bad. Because um, I haven't really gone through it all that, all that often. But I'm just going to fucking try it. And if it blows, then, you know, whatever. Deal with it. To the apocalypse. That's out of tune. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it, I've done way crazy shit a thousand times before I can do it I can do it I can do it, I've done way crazy shit a thousand times before I'm a crusty tramp with no money Passing through the border of another country They don't need to know that I'll bust the first city that I see Driving hundreds of miles of wilderness highway Got supplies to keep me alive for a few days I'm just so happy to be free just because I don't know how that doesn't mean a thing That's just what keeps my life a little bit more interesting 
A little hardship and some penny scraping That's par for the course in a life of rubber tramping Got a beautiful honey sharing my bed Treat me so good I wonder if I'm dead And gone to Valhalla with some strong meat in my head But like all good things it's gotta end With a heavy heart I move on again It's so damn hard to say goodbye Just because I don't know how that doesn't mean a thing That's just what keeps my life a little bit more interesting a little hardship and some penny scraping That's par for the course and a laugh of rubber tramping I drive my bus all night on ice roads in Yukon Snow's coming down and I'm raising the cold front Cars in the ditch to my left and my right, no human life in sight. I keep the wheel steady cause I wanna live. If I start slitting, something's gonna give. And if I stop now, I won't survive. But I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I've done like crazy shit a thousand times before. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I've done like crazy shit a thousand times before. Just because I don't know how that doesn't mean a thing That's just what keeps my life a little bit more interesting A little hardship and some penny scraping That's par for the course and a laugh of rubber tramping Yeah Oh shit, I got... <laughs> Oh my god, I got people in the other room clapping for me. That's funny. <laughs> Actually, I think that's like probably the most successful run through that song so far. Mm. You can do it. Just because you don't know how, it doesn't mean a thing. That's just what keeps life a little bit more interesting. Dan gave me two bucks for the busking. Thanks, buddy. And some diff dipshit asked, you broke up with someone to keep moving? No, dude. <laughs> you gotta be in a monogamous relationship to break up, buddy. That's not, that's not how it works on the road. Mm. Communication is key. Colonel says, awesome job, Corin. Thanks, Colonel. Looking cheers to you, buddy. <laughs> Conspiracy says, theorist says, hell yeah, Corin. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, I mean, I got all the fucking main shit out of the way. Questions about, I guess, you know, shutdown related things. I'm not going to answer questions about other shit right now because... You know, we're kind of doing a theme here, so. If you got questions pertaining to the theme, I will take them now. <laughs> Feral Oracle says I'd buy your bootleg album. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, Bike Punky. Thank you for that idea. Actually, yeah, um, I kind of want to... I kind of want to do that, yeah. Uh... That's, that's probably how we're going to end the stream. You guys are in for a treat. Yeah. But yeah, lots of support in there, guys. Thanks. And Will Davidson just posted a link to the Discord server, so if you want to take a look at that and join us, then you can meet other like-minded people, which uh, Itty Bit back here is from in... You know, it's a really, it's a really great community, and I'm super stoked on it. I actually created the server while I was blackout drunk and didn't remember creating it. Like, I made a fucking Discord server, and then I, like, forgot about it, and went online the next morning. I, like, I don't turn on my phone first thing in the morning. I don't like to be on my phone most of the time, so um, I just kind of vegged on it. And then I finally did. I turned on my phone, and I had, like, a billion notifications, and I'm like, what is this? And I, I'm looking, and at the Discord app, and, like, I'm getting blown up, and there's, like, fucking 100 people in there, 
uh, that had already joined, and I'm like, what the fuck did Canorlius do last night? Uh, Canorlius is my blackout alter ego, and they they do things. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, Canorlius, Canorlius is a crafty motherfucker. Hey, thanks, Jackie Marsh. Appreciate you. And Will David is also posting a link to the Teesprings, the, where you can buy t-shirts if you want to show support, but also get something in return. That's a really great thing. And also represent, because you never know when you're going to meet another reprobate out in the wild. It happens. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's a thing. Fucking Canorlius. Hey. What's up? You want to come say hi? No? Okay. You want to come say hi, BB? It's fun. Yeah? Well, for real. You're live? Yeah, I'm live right now. I got 254 people in chat. What? You want to say hi? This is BB. This is... Whoa, shit. Hi, I'm BB. Where'd you come from? Um. You want to... Like Pull all up a over, chair? literally all over. There's oh, a chair right out here. We can chair. we can sit and veg for a second. Oh, we're going to Oh, there's a stool. I, you, you sit there. <laughs> what do you guys think of my sweet uh, treehouse? <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? My dad told me I couldn't grow up and like live in a treehouse, but here I am. <clears throat> that is a really shitty stool, but yeah. it works. Hiding in the back. Um. Oh fuck yeah! This is uh oh. Do you want do you want a reprobate button? Sure. Yeah, you know what reprobate means? Nope. It's a antiquated religious term that describes a person that is predetermined to go to hell. Oh yeah. Like yeah. you're a fucking filthy sinner. Oh yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. This yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I will wear this with pride. Excellent. Excellent. And you can get a reprobate T-shirt at the Teespring link that. Will Davidson posted it a second ago, but it's also in the description of the chat. Just to remind you of that. Buy my shit. Buy their shit. Fuck you. Pay me. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't, you don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to heist you here, but if you feel moved by the spirit of the Lord to put some money in the, <laughs> in the. Or the spirit of hell. The spirit of Satan. Yeah. Satan. If, if the spirit of Satan moves you to dig deep into your pockets and and donate to the cause, then fuck yeah, or buy a sweet t-shirt, etc. Mostly, Reef says, are we not already in hell? Well, I don't know about you, but yeah, I am. I literally, like, share a room with Satan, and it gets 120, 130 degrees here part of the year, so. So that makes sense. We yeah. are in hell. We are in hell. We've already... Amazing. Yeah, we're dead now. This is the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, we're absolutely in the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. So, anyway, what what brings you here? Um, my friend. Mhm. Mm um, and then we came from well, Southern Oregon, mm -hmm. and then Portland, and then, but we met in Seattle, and then went to Wisconsin, and then went back to Portland, and then like basically all over doing protest stuff. Yep. This yeah. is Antifa headquarters, in case you didn't know. Yeah, Antifa rest and relaxation oh and headquarters. <laughs> That's why we need you to send us soup so that we can we can throw that. Yeah, anti-fascist. <laughs> yes. I, just... I, I opened I opened with my anti-fascist anthem actually. <laughs> and yeah, they're UFO hunters. UFO it's... hunters. I'm so yeah. innocent. We're oh so yeah, so are UFO innocent. hunters <laughs> sitting in chairs. Sitting. UFO hunters or strippers? That's what we... <laughs> Stripping we, UFO we hunters. Yeah, that's what they thought we were. We, we are. That's what we are. Mm, that's yep. What, that's what Antifa stands for. Yep. Alien hunting strippers. Uh -huh. that's, it's mm -hmm. official. You heard it from headquarters. That's an official hey, statement. <laughs> you heard it from hell first. <laughs> Straight from hell to your front door. <laughs> Satan dog is a hoax. Yeah, Satan dog doesn't exist either, and we're all living in a warehouse in Burbank, and uh, my real name is Jacques Cousteau. I'm just stage I'm... crew. <laughs> and I'm Sand. Sand, yep. Jocko and, this is... Jocko and Sand, yep. <laughs> yep, that's...
That's that's my real name. Uh, take it to the bank and fuck yourself, I guess. Yeah. Connie McQuarrie says, "Lol, hey Connie, thanks for joining us. You rock." Hey, Connie. Hell yeah. Feral Oracle wants to come and act for free. Well, you you need to get the proper licenses and stuff and take it up with my agent. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, I figured out, thanks to Bike Punky, how we're gonna end this live stream. What is, how are we gonna end it? Do you wanna fire a gun? Ooh. I've never, I've only fired a BB gun. You've never fired a gun. And I, BB has fired a BB gun. BB has fired a BB gun. Alright. I would. Okay, I think we should all take turns blasting that, uh... A gun? Yeah, at a book uh, that got brought in. It's a book by Bill O'Reilly about Donald Trump. <gasps> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Donald I'll go Trump. drink some yeah. water. Drink some water. <laughs> hey, and you watching this stream, drink some water. Hydrate or die, drink. Yeah. Hydrate or die. Always drink water. Actually, I've got some carbonated water right here. I guess that counts. It's not, like, as great as straight water, but here. Water cheers. Hmm. Gotta, gotta do that self-care. It's very important during these times. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Just drank Diet Pepsi. Aaron, that is not water. Go drink some water, you fucker. <laughs> oh, Gerber Baby says... Rumors going around that slaps will be sold on in March of next year. Yeah, fuck you. Shut up. There's a rumor about that every single year. It's been on the market since the 50s. Maybe even the late 40s. And I'm not talking about that right now. That is unrelated shit. Is it still hot? I'm wearing a jacket for fuck's sake. Like, use your fucking brain. Alright, Aaron's drinking water. Excellent. Good. If Aaron's drinking water, you can all drink water. And I'm gonna drink beer. What? What? You know how we're going to end the stream, right? Yeah, you're going to shoot Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. yeah. And Donald Trump in the same book. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Mm-hmm. I want to... I'm not going to get on that tangent. Nope. Not going to do it. I'm resisting. Mm. Otherwise, I'm going to get demonetized again. Oh, boy. And end up on another watch list. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Sandy C says, 55 years old, I'm going to smoke a bowl with you. Oh, I love smoking bowls with little timers. You know what? Hey, Eddie Bay, can I take another dab? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Old timers rock. If you're an old person, I want to hear you say something. Say, like, I'm old and I love you, like, or whatever. <laughs> Fucking love my old timer viewers. You guys are the shit. You know that Bill O'Reilly book has his actual signature in it? It's signed? Yeah. You should bring it here, dude. I wanna I wanna display it. Sick. That's even better. Maybe we can auction off the shot off shot up book. Oh man. Next live stream, I'm gonna like I'm gonna auction that off after we shoot it up. That's gonna be fucking awesome. No, Bike Punky, we're not going to burn the signature. I want to just shoot the book up and make money on it. It'll be fucking funny. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. There you are, my friends. Wow. Look at that fucking piece of shit. Oh, Bill O'Reilly. Oh. Look at this. I want to, like, find, <clears throat> find an excerpt from this shit and read it aloud to you. It might trigger me, though. I might go on a fucking death rant, and if I do that, please stop me. Somebody stop me. Oh. <coughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Let's see.
William Bell says probably not worth much. Oh, it'll be worth more after Cornelius Van Gogh and all the crew shoots it up. It'll be like, that's, that's beautiful. All right, let's see. Ugh, it's all just tr contrived bullshit. It's like sucking the dick of Donald Trump in a book, like you know, jerking jerking him off with your little tiny thingies. <laughs> Trump is incapable of being quiet. His strategy is smash mouth, hand and hand to hand. Those tactics, including the loaded speech technique have worked for him, and he crafts his behavior by believing that the end justifies the means. An old cliché, but one that is alive and well in contemporary America. Rationalization has become a national pastime. No American can escape it. Ugh. As with, he sure does smash his mouth and his hands and, you know, jerking himself off into his own mouth. Ugh. That's what he do. You heard it right here from Bill O'Reilly. As with most human beings, Donald Trump will sometimes consciously mislead for convenience or to protect himself. But as you saw with the low road comments, if you ask him a straight question, you'll usually get a straight answer. Uh-huh, okay, Bill O'Reilly. Fucking gross. Ugh. We're gonna fucking blast this stupid shit. Pizza's ready if you want to get a shot of it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, this isn't a fucking off-grid uh, eats segment. All right. But we are, you, you better eat that za fast, buddy, because we're going to fucking blast some shit. I'm, I'm going to cut it at an hour because I already got the fucking meat and bones out of the way. I'm just, like, killing time. This is fucking trash. Jesus. Those fucking goofy old guys left this here, dude. They were trying to, like, convert us. Or something. Wow. That's funny. Also by Bill O'Reilly. Killing Lincoln. Killing Kennedy. Killing Jesus. Killing Patton. Killing Reagan. Killing the Rising Sun. Killing England. Killing the SS. Old school. Legends and Lies. The Civil War. Legends and, legends and Lies. The Patriots. <laughs> legends and Lies. The Real West. Pinheads and Patriots. I have seen that one here. Bold, fresh piece of humanity. Culture warrior. The O'Reilly factory. What, who's looking out for you? Keep it pithy. Those who trespass the no-spin zone. Hitler's last days. Lincoln's last days. The day of the world went nuclear. The day the president was shot. Kennedy's last days. The last days of Jesus. Give please a chance. Kids are Americans too. The O'Reilly factory for kids. <laughs> wow. Uh, if anybody sees Bill O'Reilly out in the wild, throw a rock at his fucking noggin, please. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna fucking go to the bar and and yeah, shoot the shit for another few minutes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to go get my fucking my piece and my ammo. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do now. <clears throat> Yeah, I really, I wrecked this, um, this tripod, my last stream, while I was in the middle of talking about how fucking awesome it is, and so how glad I'm, I am to, ooh, shit, my hands are slipping, I got too much shit in my hands, oops, uh, there we go, oops, now I can't control my shit, boop, there we go. It's a little hard dual wielding shit like this, you know? Alright, I gotta find where all my bird shot went. I think it's in the kitchen. 
I've got some buckshot, some birdshot. I don't want to use up all my buckshot because we live in California during the apocalypse. Hey. You want to shoot this dumb book? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the Bill O'Reilly Donald Trump book. I'm, uh... I'm gonna grab my ammo. All right. Yeah. Yup. Let's see. Delightful. It was Shadow's idea. Shadow's the shadow government here. All right. Let's see what we got here. This is all up. Oh, no, there's birdshot in there. Do some some buckshot. Come on. That's all buckshot. I'm not getting rid of that. I'm gonna consolidate this here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll be enough for everybody to pop one off. Like I said, <clears throat> I don't want to get rid of all my ammo while living in California during the apocalypse times because it's really hard to get ammo out here. It's, yeah, it's kind of a thing. Oh, I better put that back. Wow, that looks pretty good, dude. Hell yeah. Holy shit. What's up, kids? I wish that I could eat that, but it's made a prison to me. Yeah. <clears throat> you wanna say hi, Robert? Hello. <laughs> My favorite grumpy old man. Yep, Robert's our mascot. <laughs> which, which one would you like, Robert? All right. You mind grabbing the book? Of course. Let's do it. Cool. I got full hands here. Yeah. You want to say hi, Jarrell? Hi, Jarrell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, we don't want to scare the shit out of our neighbors here by firing at the berm, but that's, like, the best place to fire. So maybe I should go holler at him, let him know that we're about to start shooting at the berm and to not worry about it. Or we can shoot at that. Yeah, that's also a backstop. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, I still should probably holler at them so they're not like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. yeah. Maybe I shouldn't walk on them, up on them with like a fucking loaded shotgun though, huh? That's our burn pile for burnable trash. We just did a kitchen purge. Say, Ted, come here. Ah, uh -uh. oi, come here. Yeah. Sing, get the fuck over here. It's a right here. Mm -mm. Nope, you go home. Go home. Nope, come here. Can you take her home? Satan, come on, come on. Go home, dude. Come on. Go home. Go on. Satan, go home. Can you put her in the bus? Yeah. Thank you, dude. Oy. I'm gonna flip the camera around here. Whoops. So they don't put people on camera that haven't consented to it. Whoops. What? Uh, it doesn't look like they're home. Oh, maybe they're. Oh, yeah, they are. 
Hey, neighbors! Hello? Nobody. That's fine. Hey, we're about to pop off a couple shots, so don't be alarmed. We're just going to do some target practice real quick. Yeah, I just didn't want to scare you guys. Nice. Oh, gonna be on oh shit. We Next, doing we're doing it right along uh, here. I'll show you. Um, over there against the. The berm. Yeah. Man, it's really beautiful. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah, I like the yeah, reverse mountains. sunsets out here. Yeah. Beautiful. Tom Waits is out here too. She's gonna fucking be really scared when I start shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I popped off a BB into a bush and I didn't see that she was like right underneath me and uh, like she wasn't anywhere in the danger zone but like it scared the shit out of her and she did like a flip. <laughs> <laughs> she got that black spot on her. I think she was in the ash or something. Yeah, why don't you set it up along that uh, berm shit? Uh, you want to hold this BB? Make sure always keep this part, mm -hmm. uh, you know, act like, like don't point at anything you're not trying to fire at, uh -huh. ever. Keep it up or down, always. Or down. Okay. And keep your finger off the trigger. You stay where you're at. You, you stay there. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to fucking find a nice shot here. I'm trying to find a good, good spot. <clears throat> that should be fine. Brando, Yo. do you want to maybe help me calibrate this by grabbing that gun and fucking framing up? Where would you want to shoot from? Probably about right here, I guess. Perfect. Well, I got it all in the frame. Excellent. Do you want to do the first one? Is there one in the chamber? Um, the first, I've, I've got my bedtime bullets in there. So the first one is bird shot, which... Mm, How about you take the first shot? All right. I'm going to reload it with the pocket bullets I got here. Welcome to America! Actually, I'm gonna... 
get it back up. Try another one? Press this here in order to chamber. Pull that down. You gotta rock it. See 
not put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to fire. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay, you're way here. Down. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay, Press that. Well, it's my chamber. There you go. All right. Oh, you pulled out the. Oh, I already did. I thought I should pull the. of Donald Trump's United States. Fuck that. Hey, can you take this? This is a relic now. To the highest bidder. Oh boy, yeah, to the highest bidder. This book is wrecked. We're gonna fucking do a uh, an auction on that fucking shit. Wow, we got a bunch of donations. Thanks, guys. A lot of people... A lot of people showing some love. Thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed the show. I'm going to go to the bar and have a shot of whiskey, and then I'm going to fuck off. Oh, you win. You win. Hey. Check it out. Bill oh. O'Reilly's got a little winger there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Shadow, come down. We got pizza for you. Shadow's hiding from all of this. <laughs> I think there's a reason why I always go by Shadow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll cook Nate something if, or Shadow something if they, I'm letting them get a piece of pizza. Okay. Yeah, go for it. May I get one beer, please? Yes, you may. 
Thank you. Let me just get this shit situated here real quick. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I'm glad you showed up. Yeah. For your, oh, I gotta put these in a specific order. This is, yeah, my bedtime gun. Damn. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Damn it. Oh. Dropped it in a water bucket. Big ass dump balls. This? Can you dump this out? Yeah. I just dropped my fucking shit in it. Let me just dry that real quick. <laughs> Where'd my JD go? Somebody hiding my fucking Jack Daniels? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna catch up with the chats here. Oh, cool. Fuck yeah. I'm tripping. I just uh, I just switched all of the beer and like drinks from one cooler to the other cooler <laughs> and the food that. from that. And like for a second, it like broke my brain. I'm like, why can't I find the beer that I'm or the <laughs> carbonated water that I'm looking for? Yeah, I know how that goes. The store looks different every day. Yeah, well, <clears throat> being closed down, like we obviously have different priorities now. Yeah. So we'll keep the food in the good cooler. Mm-hmm. Cheers, fuckers. Alright, now I gotta load my shit. Gotta catch up in the chat here, too. Missed the announcement. Shoot Matt. <laughs> Shoot Matt? Is that what Bike Punk said? Yeah. What am I going to do with you, Shadow? Here's your bucket. Thanks for the bucket. What kind of beer do you want? You want a nice one? Yeah. Alright, here. Sick. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate you. That's from Itty Bit, dude. Yeah, right on. Long Island Loggers. Hell yeah. Sweet. Thanks, Eddie. You, mm -hmm. you want me in or out? I don't give a shit. I'm nope. just kind of, you know, chilling. Got all the meat and bones out of the way. Those are the warning shots, and those are the shots you use to... The first one's a warning. The second one is a stunner. After that, it's killing time. Yeah. What's up, people? Yo. All right. Well, you know that was a lot of fun, huh? What what good times we had. <laughs> I'm so happy. Having a wonderful time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I feel like I should probably play a song or something. Yeah. I don't know what to sing. Um. I don't even have my guitar on me. Do you want someone to get you the guitar? Mm, I guess so. Yeah, why not? No, that works. It's right next to my desk. Alright, okay. Yeah, thanks. Better. You rock. It's almost time to fuck off. Thank you for joining me. Hit the like and subscribe buttons. And also send me stuff, because I'm going to be, like I said, distributing food and medical supplies to my community. So if you've got non-perishable foods and any types of medical supplies, especially antibiotics, uh, it's staff and MRSA are very fucking real out here. And it's like, it's one of those things. We, we can always use like any type of antibiotics, um, full regimens. I don't care if, you know, it's, I don't care if they, they're lying around that you didn't use them or something like, or about the legality of that. We need antibiotics out here for people. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Hmm.
I've been running, I've been running, I've been running out of luck. I've been drinking, I've been drinking, I've been drinking out of this dirty old cup. And every time I start thinking that I can't give a fuck. Thanks for joining me, folks. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? All right, I'm going to fuck off now. See you later.